Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Hey guys! Let me turn this off. Happy Vlogmas! To kick off the Vlogmas! So y'all, I'm looking real plain Jane, baby. Plain Jane. But, I am here. And I'm ready to kick off our wonderful Vlogmas. So y'all, excuse me first of all how I look. This is my first Vlogmas. And baby, let me just tell y'all off top. I am seriously... Seriously, it's still tired from Thanksgiving. Shout out to all the people that held it down for Thanksgiving. Y'all, I gotta get my new um, tripod I just bought. I'm gonna open everything with you guys. So that was what I was wanting to do. But, you know, we kicking off day one. And I'm looking, y'all, I literally just like woke up not too long ago. So y'all gonna have to excuse me. I'm just kind of not looking like myself. But we're going to fix y'all to see throughout the, the week as we count down and all that great stuff. I will be a lot better looking. But um, today, y'all, this, this is what we're getting. But anyway, I got to get my new tripod I just bought. So we kicking off our vlogmas on the right note. Because, honey, I was like, I can't do the tripod that we had before. That wasn't, it was not giving. It, it just wasn't so I was like if I'm gonna do vlogmas I want to do it right and I want to make sure that I got the proper tripod this one has an extender on it um it's called Ulanzi and I got this from my favorite one of my favorite um youtubers Peyton Charles or Pay Marie Charles on YouTube she is awesome and this was something that she recommended so we're going to open this up together and we're going to use this um, throughout Vlogmas. And I'm going to let y'all know how it works out. I also ordered some stuff um, for my tree, y'all. For my house because I had to get new curtains. Because the curtains I have up now, they will not go with my tree. So I have to um, put some new curtains up. Of course, day one of Vlogmas, they're not here on time. So... Here we are. So I have got to wait till my curtains. I believe they will be here tomorrow. So it'll be day two of Vlogmas. And we'll open everything up together too. And I just got some little knickknacks and things um, that I ordered from Amazon to celebrate Vlogmas. And I'm really trying each day get on here and post something. I think my schedule though will be Monday through Fridays and the weekends. I'm probably not going to post anything. If I have something special that I want to share, then I will. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be Monday through Fridays. Um, so that's kind of how I'm going to do it. But anyway, you know, it's going to be full of activities and fun things. So I hope that you guys tune in with me daily as we kick off of a Vlogmas, baby. I'm excited about it. But y'all, I ain't gonna lie. It came quick. Thanksgiving was no joke. I had, I entertained quite a few people at my house and I cooked everything. So honey, my nails ain't even, that. we're gonna have to go do that together. Get some Christmas nails, Christmas pedicures, whatever. We have to do all the good stuff, but I have got to get myself together cause baby, Thanksgiving took me down to three, honey. Hosting, shout out, like I said, shout out to all those that held it down, cooked everything, host everything. Y'all all right? How y'all doing? Y'all y'all okay? Let me know in the comment how y'all how y'all doing. But anyway, I'm hanging in there, y'all. But I really wanted to do vlogmas, so I was like, it might not be like everyone else's, but this is new to me. It's going to be things that I do throughout leading up to Christmas. So, sometimes it'll be traditional holiday things. I'm going to try to throw in some holiday things too. Um, of course, definitely Christmas things. But, you know, I'll be also doing some vlogging on just things I'm doing day to day to get to that point of doing this and finding this and, you know, just different activities and stuff. Of course, I got y'all for the cocktails. I uh, even have some things for the kids and things that you can do. We'll do a little baking, honey. We're going to do a little, couple of little things. So, I'm excited about it to kick off Vlogmas. But, y'all, for me to not even be holding my hand out, y'all, let's just figure this out. I'm going to put this somewhere so we can unbox this together. Hold on one second. So, this one is the Ulanzi, and I got it from Amazon. And I will show you 
what it looks like on the inside again it's like 22 centimeters um it's scalable and it also extends so i'm excited about it y'all let's open it up and see what it's giving because my other tripod and vlogging stick it was just too much y'all it wasn't giving much so let's see And I love it already. It look it's sturdy. It looks official. It don't look cheap. Let me see how it extends out. Cause that's my biggest thing. Like when I go somewhere to eat and stuff, I be wanting to make sure that I can set. I love it. This is the this what sold me because a lot of times with the standard tripods, they're very low. And so when you sit it on the table, you still can't see what you're trying to show. So with this. You just pull it, you can have it high as you want, and then of course it moves and all that jazz. And then it looks like it has an accessory position where you can like put something else like a speaker or a GoPro or whatever on it um, in addition. And it's almost like a selfie stick too. So like if I'm, you know, doing my thing and I want to make it extended out and do a little bit more versus it being at face level this small, then you can. And it just, like I said, it extends out to 22 centimeters. So that's pretty good. This is like a selfie stick almost too. But I really love the fact that it extends and I can just pull it out as a tripod. So that was something I was finding to be a dilemma when I was going out to eat or something. That's why I don't have that many outings with me going out to dinner and stuff. Because it doesn't, you know, give that conversation feel. Honey, let's get into this hat though because it is giving va 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 boom, baby. And I ain't got a lash on my face. I look real crazy. <laughs> but or eyebrows darkened or nothing. But you know it's all good. I, you know, hold, just hold on. I'm just giving y'all real homeless today. But it's alright. <laughs> I've been on here worse. So we all good. So I'm really excited about this. And I like it. It's real sturdy. It's not cheap. You know, and this kind of controls the um move of the ball. So you can kind of adjust it how you want to. I'm really pleased with this purchase. I only think it costs like maybe $20. If that, maybe $21. I'm not sure. I want to say between $20 or $21. So this was a really good purchase. But my next one is really what I'm excited about. I'm ready to get into. And I can't wait to use this. This would have been perfect when I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I got something from H&M. And child, I almost forgot about it. Do y'all have situations where y'all order stuff and y'all forget all about your purchase, child? I sure did. And I'm so mad too because I could have got it 30% off when I purchased it originally. Um, and I could have got it 30% off for Black Friday, but such is life, honey. They probably would have been sold out by then. And this is some of the something I've seen a lot of um just vloggers and things have and of course, your girl ain't buying no Bottega, baby. <laughs> Maybe when I get some YouTube checks, I can buy some. But nah, I won't even be buying purchase like that. Um, but I thought it was so cute and I needed a new purse. And so I was like, you know, I, how I go through purses is just, I think it was perfect. Perfect for me. So it was a beige color. And I'm already liking what I see. Y'all, it is so cute. It is so cute. It's just like all the little, you know, designer bags and things like that. But what I like about this one the most is the chain on it. Because all the other ones, they look real, like, just small or cheap looking. But y'all, look at this. It's so cute. I love it. Of course, it's not the Bottega. Like, you know, it's not that because that one has the bigger chain and then the longer one too. It's like the little chains up here and then it has a longer chain that you can wear. It's a long, longer purse. But I don't, I'm not really into them longer crossbody purses that are this big. So I love this because you can just put it on your shoulder, honey, and shank the ain't. <laughs> and you're good. And it is spacious. Let me take all this stuff out. It came, you know, stuffed well to keep it shape. So this is the inside of it and I'm hoping it'll focus good. 
it's really cute it has like the inside zipper and it has the sections so you got one in the front and one in the back and then you have um your zipper for your other little things but i really like this this is so cute i think this bag was like 46 dollars or 49 dollars no it had i don't think i paid 50 dollars for this that's what tax when i say 49 if i paid like 49 for it let's see the receipt in the bag. Um, where the price at? Cause it ain't on the bag either. I found it's probably was like forty, forty, maybe the most forty nine dollars, and that's with tax and shipping and all of that. So yeah, cause the, it's not on here. But it is vegan leather. It is very soft. It's called the quilted shoulder bag and it's in light beige. It also came in black. And the black one, it had the gold um, chains on it. But this is silver. And so I didn't really want another black bag. But I really, I don't know. I might order it because I really like this. This is so cute. I wonder how well it's going to hold. It's that soft, like I said, kind of leather. It's not that thick like the more firmer leather but it's like that quilted plush kind of bag but it's real cute y'all it's cute i seen a couple of youtubers have it and i was like you know what let me get this to spin because i need a cute purse and i've been having the hardest time finding something that's reasonable because i changed my purses way too much and you know i ain't finna front and like i'm just this and that baby i'm trying to make it like everybody else so i i don't have the thousands of dollars to spend on a bag to keep into the trends and things like that because trends come and go but i really i like something that has a good quality and this bag is so cute again it's called the quilted shoulder um bag and it's light beige it's real cute it's like real cute for winter it reminds me of like that bubble jacket kind of style and it even feels like it too it's cute we're gonna see how it hold up i'm gonna let y'all know but i got a couple of things that i've ordered again like i said um for vlogmas and i'm excited about it um i will say i don't think my videos will be since i'm doing them like monday through friday they're not gonna be super long each time um so we'll see just depends on what i'm doing so i'm gonna try to keep it cute and short um because y'all don't want y'all let me know do y'all want a longer vlog or do you want like you know just kind of keep it cute and show you what i'm doing y'all let me know but regardless if i feel like doing it i'm gonna give it to you so <laughs> it's gonna be what it be but i'm very excited to do this i'm excited um to be a part of vlogmas and we just gonna have a good time Sadly, I have not pulled my tree out, and I probably will do that a little later with you guys. Um, so, I got to get myself together. I got to run to the store, get a few things. But I'm going to probably go ahead and pull everything in. Got to pull stuff down from the attic. Kind of do inventory of everything that I have because I wanted to change my stuff this year. But I'm going to do it one more year. My husband's like, no, just do one more year um of the same you know decoration that we've done on, on the last couple years and then next year we'll change it so i'll probably get a new tree at the end of the year because they'll be on sale and all that good stuff so this one is cute i always kind of go for the real so cool kind of theme it's like the almost brighter green and brighter red style stuff um and so it's not always necessarily traditional you know holiday things but it's really cute christmas holiday colors of course um so i want to stick with that this year and i'm going to decorate with you guys and i'm probably definitely going to go get some more items um because i decorate not only in my living room but throughout my entire house so like my kitchen and my little breakfast nook area the bathroom doors and things like that i try to decorate throughout the house because honey it's christmas baby who knows i might even put some lights back here i don't know but i am very excited about it and i cannot wait to do this with you guys tracy's gonna take on honey and i'm gonna take you right with me i might even do me a little christmas tree over here in the corner what y'all think a little pink tree or something We'll see. We're going to do it. We'll figure it out. But we're going to do it together. But in the meantime, let's get this stuff out of this uh, garage and this attic, honey. And bring this in and get it situated because we got to put a tree up. Tomorrow is December. What is it? December the 1st. So I need to have my stuff together. This is the day before, guys. You know how we film. Um, I might do same day film. I don't know yet. I'm just trying to figure it out. But as of right now, it is the day before. So I'm kicking off 
the lovely Vlogmas 2021. And y'all gonna be with me. We're gonna take it on together. So I'll be right back in a second. We're gonna go ahead and get some furniture moving, honey, some shifting around. And I cannot wait till my stuff comes in tomorrow so that I can begin to put my tree up. I can't do nothing really for real because I gotta take curtains down. But I might take them down today. I don't know. We'll see. But in the meantime, between time, I'll see y'all in the quick. Yeah. All right, Mary, cause honey, Mary will take me there. Y'all, my neighbors got the Christmas stuff out. Jesus Christ, I still got a whole scarecrow and hay sitting in my yard. I'm embarrassed, but hey, today is the last day, right? <laughs> I gotta get my stuff together. And here I am riding in the car. I gotta go to the grocery store. So I had a chase for hot dogs tonight because of course, if y'all still eating leftovers, and Thanksgiving was several days ago. For one, you should be in the ER by now. <laughs> if you if you have if you still eating on leftovers, baby. I hope your stomach is okay. So I am going to go to the store to get my items to make my hot dogs tonight. And I just had a taste for it. You know, you've had all the soul food that you can take. I don't know if if you're like me, and I just want a little something different. So we're gonna hit up the neighborhood store and get us some stuff for our hot dogs tonight and I think I'm gonna make chili dogs so I'm going to get the items for that and I need cheese chili of course buns and I don't want any fries I'm just gonna get some chips or something so that's what we finna do honey we're gonna get to set it off set it off right with the chili dogs tonight and I guess, what time is it? It's close to five o'clock. No wonder there's so much traffic. I'm like, where are all these people coming from? Darling. I mean, I ain't never seen this many people come from this direction. But I don't get out much either. Oh, do I even need, do I have enough gas, first of all? That's another thing, y'all. I don't drive, so I be forgetting if I need gas. I don't mess with nobody. I just be in the house minding my own business you know just doing what I do but um we about to hit this little local Walmart up again my usual spot I feel like I take y'all with me every vlog we go to Walmart I need some stock in Walmart because baby they get all my coin they do then they had a nerd to make you doggone bag your own stuff telling you but how is the temperature where you are y'all the weather has dropped where I am and I'm, I don't know why you don't have a jacket on but it'd be cold out here now and of course when it's cold the skin is dry and um, my hands and knuckles be looking real ashy so I have to make sure I keep that lotion on deck but y'all speaking of hands I just told myself up all Thanksgiving burnt my little hand cut my little hands every my hands are just raw from just cleaning and everything else I'm, I'm over it i'm over it but here we are facing another holiday i tell you thanksgiving seemed like christmas you blink your eye christmas be the next day it's just always something of course you know i love to be the hostess with the mostest i love hosting i do and i like having family over and stuff so i got to do something so Thanksgiving, I decided to take it on, honey. I had folks coming in from out of town. My mom came down. It was just a good time. It really was. But I tell you one thing, people don't realize if you haven't done it before, it's a lot of work that go into hosting and it take a lot out of you. I promise you literally the day after Thanksgiving, no, the day after the day after Thanksgiving, I said day after Black Friday, Y'all, I didn't move out of the bed. I literally stayed in the bed the entire time. I went and got me a little something to eat, lay back down. Like my whole body was just sore. My feet was hard. I ain't never complained about my feet since the last time I worked in retail. That was when I used to complain about my feet. But my feet were killing me. I don't know if it's because I sit down so much throughout the week and then I was standing up the whole time cooking and prepping and cleaning and baby i really need to schedule me a massage that's what i need to do but we're gonna we might do that during vlog we're gonna see we're gonna do something because i know one thing i can't go through that no more because that was just a mess but i'll be 
I was prepared, so it wasn't like it was last minute or anything, but it's just a lot when you want something to be a certain way. So, I was glad about it. I was so happy to have my family, though, and it was really fun. It was beautiful, and just we had a good time. We really did, but baby, it was a lot that went into it. And I tell you, now as it gets colder, you can smell people burning wood and burning their fireplace. I need to be thinking some on fire, child. Um, how stuff be smelling. But, um, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and quit talking and get on down in here and figure it out. What we finna do with this doggone grocery list of shopping. And I pray I don't come in here and buy more than what I planned on buying. Because I'm very good for that. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the few. I knew when I went in Walmart that I was going to not stick to what I was supposed to get. I'm going to show y'all when I get in the house what I bought, which is good. I need it, but still. But yet, I bought it. I bought it. And why is it so much traffic? <laughs> my God! Yeah, why am I yelling? Y'all see the other side of Tracy takes on, I guess. But anyway, I hate when I go in the store. But I knew better. I knew when I was gonna go. But I, you know, I will say this too. I actually did good because I was gonna pick up some more stuff, and I purposely bought a got a hand basket because I know if I put certain stuff in it, it's gonna be heavy, and I ain't gonna be wanting to run around the whole store. So I purposely did that. So that helped a little bit, but God dog, I seen as soon as I walked in, they y'all know what y'all doing. Walmart, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all know what y'all doing. Exactly what you doing. You got me. You always get me. But it was something I needed, so jokes on you. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I have got a whole scarecrow in my yard that I need to go and remove. I bet my neighbors are like in the group chat talking about me. Like, can you believe she still has Thanksgiving? Baby, don't do me. It's still November 30th. It is still November 30th. I am not the early bird like y'all are. These folks got their whole decorations up. I low-key feel bad, but I ain't gonna show. <laughs> I ain't gonna show it. I have got a whole scarecrow, two barrels of hay, and a Thanksgiving wreath on my door. I'm gonna take that down. I'm just gonna snatch that down real quick. Snatch that scarecrow up. Now that, hey, my husband is going to have to find someone to take that because I don't even think our garbage guys will take that. So, child, we got to get rid of that. But they got to get from in the front of my house because they will not be talking about me. Talking about I still in Thanksgiving and in the harvest season while they is all the way in the winter, Christmas, winter wonderland. They will not talk about me. So I'm gonna do that tonight and I don't even think I cut the lights on y'all It's just it's been a day. I'm, I'm trying to catch up. I promise y'all. I'm gonna be on it though I'm gonna be on it. I'm gonna be on it And I was in the garage when I was pulling out and I was like, you know how my husband got my stuff rigged up He gonna have to help me get this stuff out cuz I ain't no way I'm gonna be able to pull this Christmas stuff out So yeah Everything worked out how it's supposed to cuz he gonna have to do that when he get home little do he know or in the morning So we'll be up bright and early filming <laughs> as we pull this stuff into the house and I organize it and go through it um but hopefully my curtains will be here and I do want to get some um, poinsettias in um Walmart and I know Lowe's has them too my mom told me Lowe's has some really pretty ones too and the ones in Walmart they overpriced and they're huge though but they look a little dry so I don't know about those I'm gonna look at them one more time That'll be something else I go pick up because I have to get two. I like two in my living room. And I don't know. It's too cold to put them outside. So, I don't know. We might have to get some fake ones and put them in our little pot outside. But I got to figure that out because, I, y'all, it's just a lot. Y'all, I'm going to take y'all by this house too. They already got their whole light up, set up. 
and they do for every holiday y'all they house i know they power bill be high as hell because they have i know over 600 lights on that uh strings of light strings of lights on their house so they always put everyone to shame i ain't doing all that i got the projector lights <laughs> i got my reefs and i have my garland and i'm a, i might get a few other things that's what i gotta figure out what i'm gonna put on the outside of the house y'all christmas always come at your girl fast i promise it do it always comes at me fast but we're gonna do it we're gonna celebrate it this is what matters you know family that's what it's about love family it ain't about decorations all the time but you want to be in the spirit so that's definitely what i'm going to try to do a little bit i'm gonna try to crank it up a notch for myself this year so anyway let me get on and drive so i can get to this house and take the scarecrow out my yard because i mean i will not be in the group chat of my neighborhood and the folks talking about me and they got their Christmas stuff up. And I know they already doing it because it's just what it is. But I'm doing better than last year because last year I put my Christmas tree up the week of Christmas. But that's all another story. Okay, y'all. I'm back in the house, child. Y'all, these folks and set it off in their yard. I got to step my game up. I don't know what I'm finna do. But they got inflatables, lights hanging all off the girl. I'm gonna take y'all by that house that I'm that I'm talking about though. They always set it off though. That's for every holiday. I don't know where they find all these lights. And I know they power bill got to be a thousand over a thousand and or fifteen hundred dollars at the end of each um cycle. Cause it's crazy how they light the, the whole street up. But anyway, I got a gingerbread house set so we are going to definitely that was one of the things i was talking about that i bought that i didn't need to i don't think but um i got it anyway i got it anyway so i had to cut better lighting mm -hmm. on for this but i am excited about my gingerbread house and i know it's gonna be so much fun to make and put together and so i got this from walmart i think it was like eight dollars and about nine dollars and so it was really cute. And I thought, you know, why not? Maybe with a glass of wine or maybe without cocoa, maybe I'll do. And put this together. So it's really cute. I thought I, that you guys would like it too. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Yeah. It's really cute. It's a cute little gingerbread house. And it has everything with it. So we'll put that together one night as well. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap up, child. I got so much to do. I just ran out there and took that little scarecrow down, child, in my <laughs> Thanksgiving wreath. So, we will go ahead and definitely be doing a lot more for our vlogmas. And it'll be more Christmas oriented. But, child, in the meantime, in between time, y'all make sure you tune in. Like I said, I'm going to do it every day, Monday through Friday. And I hope to see you in the comments. And I hope y'all let me know. Share what y'all doing. Give me some ideas what I can do to, you know, change things up refreshing or really, you know, give it a punch. And I love to go the extra mile and I like to, you know, really wow people with some things. So if y'all have any ideas or things that I can enhance what I'm doing um, to make it better, let me know. I'm always taking tips and recommendations. Um, and I will see you guys next time vlog bye don't forget to like share and subscribe